Jürgen, one of the things about your program was that every Olympiad you made the program tougher. Uh, or you, you in, maybe increased, maybe I, I've not got that right, or you increased the volume. I mean, how close did you get to what the maximum volume or intensity that an athlete could take? How, how close were you to that? <laughs> Okay, I mean, you see it uh, every time, what human can do, you know, and so far, uh, it's not a, a total competition, and you know, just volume, and uh, yeah, you know, you would say in normal days, a, a day has 24 hours, 12 hours daytime, 12 hours nighttime, and you fill it totally out, and you're looking for the 25th hour, you know. So I think there has to be a good balance. I think you have to uh, make sure there is a, a good amount of specific training that can be from time to time uh, through the winter, maybe a little bit more to the ergo and water training, depends on condition. There has to be a good amount of uh, weight training. I believe in weight training. To have uh, to really developing the local muscle groups better, and that's people can energetic can cope a lot better with that. And I think it's also important. I think more and more uh, athletic people are. You know how we selecting athletes. It's always very often. Oh, it's a big guy, uh, maybe a little bit clumsy been in, in their physical education, always those ones sitting on site because they didn't fit in the football team or whatever. So we did a lot of things there. So they're learning more skills, learning more about their body and how they move their body, I think is quite important. Sounds so easy. So we do a lot of cross training, I would say, Martin. Yeah. That's an important part. And then with that momentum going, I think the, the key thing is then, yeah, the quality. You know, I see it a little bit. I've been growing up in a time when rowing changed mainly from the interval training to the endurance training. Yeah. You know, so, you know, in the Adam time, yeah. it was, I yeah. know also when Steve, when I arrived here, I know Steve's training from uh, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I have never seen that before. So, and okay, so I know I can remember with Steve when we went to the first regatta, was I think in 91 was Essen. I think so. Yes. And, uh, Jürgen, uh, weekend is regatta. We haven't done any pieces or whatever. You know, you would. So, Steve, just. So I, I think I'd be going up in that time and learned a lot uh, uh, how that works and having the right com and now it's a, so it's a combination between endurance training and a lot of elements of interval training. So it then becomes the volume or spend the time will be sometimes not bigger. But, you know, you have to have a why I think a good balance, and that's why I tried in 50 years, and nobody could uh, tell me any better. Of course, you had always people, you can do something for a year. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I'm very proud to have athletes. Uh, one athlete, I worked for four Olympiads and four Olympic gold medals, and I had three athletes running three Olympic gold medals, and I'm many, many athletes running at least two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly they stopped because they could uh, cope with the training load. They could maintain it and still succeed and going, going faster over quite a long time.